All right, so there is the steel from the uh, air conditioners, guys. And that was the uh, piece I picked off the side of the road when I went to go pick them up. So I figured I'd throw back on top. And there's the copper. That's the copper. I have eight air conditioners, guys. That's the copper. So not bad at all. So all we got left to do is the fins or the uh, the coils, which when we come back, we're going to do that. And I got to take off the uh, remaining pieces that, uh, that has the uh, motors on it for uh, running the air conditioners, which are the little, uh, they're just little copper contents. They go in a bucket. They'll be going in this afternoon to the other place. So we're going to get rid of this load and see what it weighs, what it pays, guys. See how we do for this load. Oh, yeah, and the brass is on there too, guys. The brass, all the little nuggets you get for brass. So, all right, that's it. I'm going to head out now. It's uh, early in the morning again. We're starting off, and uh, we'll make another day at it, guys, and I'll cash your stuff in. I'm trying to just keep up. I got my ride along with me today. What do you think? Are we hit the road? Yeah, guys, see, this side's always tools. Everything on this side is my tool side. The only people, that I, the only room I have in my truck, really, for passengers would be the, the passenger side and the other side behind it. Everything else is tools, jackets, coats, anything I need that, you know, I think that I need. Like, you know, there's bushel washer fluid. You know, I keep all my tools, everything underneath there, and drill. Uh, just everything I can possibly think of. I mean, my tarp, my other tarp is underneath the seat. And, of course, my munchkin. I have to leave room for my munchkin in the back. That's her spot. Her bed's on the other side. She has a bed over there, guys. I usually have it on this side, but I must have moved it. So she'll climb, but she's got her seatbelt on. See, this is what I mean. So she, if I ever slam the brakes on, she can't go through the... So that's her seatbelt. And she knows she has to have it on. And when she gets in the truck or car, she has a seatbelt she has to have on. And that's what she gets. She has her harness on so it doesn't pull on her neck. See, she uses her collar. And then that's her harness. So my baby doesn't get yanked on. She knows what it is. He knows what they're for. Right, baby? All right, we're going to hit the road. Are we going? See how happy she gets. She gets so happy when she goes in the truck. Do you like going in the truck, baby? Do you like going in the truck? Do you like going in the truck, mommy? Yeah, you do, do you? You do. Oh, are you going to get a treat today? Oh, someone likes treats. Someone likes treats. Yeah. See, Molly doesn't like the truck, guys. I, I take her too, but she doesn't uh, care for the truck. So, but Angel loves doing it. She's been doing it since she's been a little pop. So, but Molly's getting better every year. So, like I said, she came from an adopted her. So she was she came from an abusive uh, family. So, but anyhow, guys, that's it. All right, before I forget and take the receipt in the house, here's what I got out of that load from uh, yesterday that I loaded and took this morning, guys. So I had 440 pounds of steel. That was just from those eight air conditioners and I think some loose stuff that was like ends I cut off and stuff. And the brass was 11 pounds of brass. It came off the ends of the air conditioners and I had 22 pounds of the number two. And my grand total was 150 bucks, guys. So I had $150. So there's another 150 you can add to that, uh, what was it, yesterday, almost 300 bucks yesterday. So, and we're still not done. I've still got those coils to go and some more motors to go. So by the time we're done, we're at, what, 400 and 3, 4, 450? We're at about 450 bucks right now. So roughly about 500 bucks is what I make for profit at eight air conditioners. Pretty close, not bad. I mean, that's not bad. But pretty close to about, yeah, I'd say close to 500 bucks. Because I'm going to take another load in today and then we'll see what we get from it and we'll see how close I am. So we're at a 450. So not bad at all, I think. I think that's pretty good. And that's not including all the wire and stuff too that I don't even cash in. So I say roughly, I, I'm going to round it off about 500 bucks what you can make out of eight air conditioners if you dismantle them. That's not bad. Better than what you'd get out of steel if you just threw them off the back of the truck. So anyhow, guys, that's it for now. I'm going to go load another load and I'll show you what I'm going to put on. So... All right, so these are the coils that I had left over, guys. I'm just cleaning them right now, as you can see. Uh, I'm taking these off. They go in this bucket here. So these go a lot as copper content, which is motors for me. And what else? So yeah, so I got all them done. And now I just got four left to go, plus the one that's already in the table. And then I'm just throwing the wire up there for now. And the wire is going to have to go into the bucket because that bucket's full. So yeah, and I got a bunch on the ground there yet too to deal with. So, but uh, yeah, so I'm working on these, trying to clean these up. And then uh, these little black boxes too, they'll all go as copper content because they got chunks of copper in them and stuff. So that's what they go as copper content. So I'll be getting rid of them. But I just thought I'd show you guys what I got left. And that's what I'm going to be loading up for my next load, guys. So this is it's going to be a, a small load, but i got to go into the city anyhow. So because I was to a different scrap yard this morning. There's two different yards that I go to. One pays better prices for certain stuff. So I split it up. doesn't matter to me. But uh, especially when it's 
are fairly different in price wise. The rods are the same price as either rat, either one, but this scrapyard's closer than picking this stuff to, so it's going there. And I get paid more for the motors at 25 cents instead of I think it's 17 cents at the other yard, so it's a bit of a difference and it's closer, so but same with my compressors. The compressors would normally just go spread, and I'm getting uh, 15 cents up here, so I'll take it. I would only normally get 11 and a quarter at the other one, so but that's it, guys. I just want to show you that, guys, and I'll show you when I get it loaded, so stay tuned. All right, so I got those rads done. It was uh, four of those coils, so there's eight rads because there's two on each one, and then there's the motors, and there's the other ones. So there we go, guys. That's what I'm going to take in. So it's not a lot, but it's what I got done. So it's already a uh, afternoon, so and I got to do some run around in town again. So never know what I'm going to come home with, guys. You never know. So stay tuned. You never know what it'll be. But anyhow, that's it for today for this load. This is all that's going in. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.